Greetings, fishing fans. We are, this is Matthew Upton from Ross, and we are coming back at you with, after taking a week off. We're going to, we're going to take a look at the Northeast um, ocean conditions via sea surface temperature and ocean color, chlorophyll imagery, and just give you an idea of an update on what's going on out there, what to, what to look for, and how the conditions look. So, first of all, Today, today, by the way, is Monday, August 15th. Congratulations to our clients and winners and participants in the White Marlin Open last week. And there was not a lot of billfish caught, not a lot of marlin caught, but the tunas did well. And and you know, it was scarce fishing, I think, but I think it started to warm up a little bit at, at the end of the week. So that's something encouraging for these for later on in August. So right now we're looking at sea surface temperature, red, orange, yellows are your warmer water, your greens and blues are cooler water. And what we notice, first of all, is this large warm core Gulf Stream Eddy that still is way out east, not moving too fast. It's clockwise eddy. You got 80 degree water, 81 degrees over, oh my gosh, hydrographer, beach. Now Atlantis Canyons looks really good. There's another rotation, counterclockwise rotation over Atlantis Canyons, I do believe. We've got an eddy off of Fishtails, Block Canyon, clockwise eddy there. A counterclockwise eddy off of Hudson that we're going to keep our eye on right here. There's a couple eddies down in Tom's Canyon. I think there's some rotation this way and there's some rotation up here this way. We've got off, you can't see it too well in down farther south, but there is some, ro some counterclockwise rotation between Washington and Poor Man's. And there's some rotation offshore of poor man's clockwise. And we've got a couple of eddies down south as well. South of Norfolk can we have some rotation south of uh, clockwise rotation south eddy south of Norfolk. And there's another, you can see it better in the chlorophyll image, but there's also a, I believe, a counterclockwise flow south of that in the cigar area that's creating some decent conditions down here off of North Carolina. We have the, so we have the uh, Pirates Cove tournament, big fishing tournament out of Oregon Inlet this week. So keep track of, there's like a big eddy coming up from the south. We're gonna have to keep track of the conditions down there. So call us and let us know what days you're fishing that tournament. We can help you out. There's some nice golf stream, eddy filaments i think there's two eddies there's one here and one down here that are creating some decent conditions finally in offshore of norfolk and washington poor man's canyon and there's another eddy large eddy out here that is creating some decent conditions off of baltimore and wilmington canyon and there has been some white marlin caught in this water that's offshore, oh, 1,100 fathoms off of Baltimore, Wilmington Canyon. What we're going to keep an eye on, and also it's pretty remarkable too, there's some there's some uh, eddies inshore that I think this one is counterclockwise, I believe, up off of Long Island. But there's also some eddies inshore off of New Jersey and Delaware there's one the clockwise here, rotating eddy. I believe there's another clockwise rotating eddy off of Cape May. But inshore, creating some decent water mass boundaries inshore. There's been bluefin tuna even caught inshore off of New Jersey last week. But there's a lot of green. You'll see in the ocean color chlorophyll image that we'll show next. There's a lot of green water coming down. But there's also some, finally, some, some more features and water mass boundaries to fish between Hudson and Norfolk Canyon. And I believe, I'm hoping that the, uh, 
the white the marlin action will, will pick up and the tuna action will continue to be favorable there's been some big eye caught and i think i know in, in that tournament last week norfolk wilmington canyons golf streams up to 85 almost 85 and a half degrees had some clouds out here but the gulf streams about 85 degrees 85 and a half so let's, let's take so let's take a look at the ocean color chlorophyll image during the same time period last over the weekend you can see that there's a bunch of green water coming down however some of this water is starting to clear clear up off the canyons and we obviously we have this this clock counterclockwise eddy we're going to be following hopefully that traverses down into uh, the canyons to the southwest. Got some nice blue water south of Fishtails, Block Canyon, Atlantis, Hydrographers. You guys are getting getting spoiled out here with some. There's been a lot of marlin, I know, and tuna caught in this water, and it looks favorable for you guys out of Massachusetts, um, Long Island, Rhode Island areas. Down here, you can see there's some rotation. There's something going on here. Created some decent conditions over, it looks like, just off of Oregon Inlet. Of course, you have a you have a, a large eddy coming up for for Pirates Cove to keep an eye on in the Gulf Stream. But you have these eddies that are, there's one rotating this way, one rotating this way. No, wrong way. Yeah, this way, clockwise, south of Norfolk Canyon, some some bluer water out here that's looks to be decent for Marlin, hopefully. Then the blue water out here. But this time of year, you, you can identify and validate a lot of the water masses, a lot of water mass boundaries with ocean color chlorophyll data. So stay tuned to Ross for an update. Um, we'll probably won't do one next week uh, to honor our clients for the Mid-Atlantic. So we won't do a detailed uh, analysis for the um, video for the Northeast next week, but we'll come back at you again right before Labor Day. So we've got, oh, there's a couple of tournaments. I know there's also some tournaments up further north. There's um, there's the uh, Beach Haven Marlin Tournament coming up later this week. So good luck to everyone fishing this week. And hope your summer's going well. And... Stay tuned to Ross. Thanks, guys.